Kia ora. In this short video we're going to look at how to quickly import a Bandcamp release, an album, a single, an EP into Music Brains. Um, now let's just assume that you've done a really good search of Music Brains for this. You know it doesn't exist. Uh, we don't want to add any duplicates. You've checked for spelling errors, all that. Um, you've already added the artist, uh, and which in this case is in here, and this, uh, this album's not here not in uh, Shital's releases, so I know it needs to be added. Now one way we could add this, after uh, logging in of course, go to the artist page and we can add release here. Just click add release at the bottom right, uh, and then we could fill in child's head with blah blah blah. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use a user script to pre-fill all this track list information and all that before we edit it. So we're still going to have to click stuff, we're still going to want to check stuff because there can still be mistakes, um, but we're going to pre, we call it seeding, we're going to pre-seed all this stuff. Now for this we're going to do a search, you can do a Google search and do it in the top bar or a, you know use your search engine of choice. I'm going to search for Music Brains User Scripts. And now this is what I need, is a guide slash user scripts. So this is a convenient wiki page that has a list of all the scripts and the Bandcamp one that we want is on here. Now this is assuming you've already installed a user script manager. There's another video, only takes a second on how to do this, but after you've installed that on your browser, which I have, I've got Tampa Monkey up here, uh, I can start to have a play with all the different user scripts. And there's lots of import scripts uh, from all kinds of uh, websites to seed, from uh, Discogs, Beatport, so forth. But the one I want is uh, Import Bandcamp Releases by Murdos. I'm going to click the download button here. Uh, and if this doesn't pop up for you, just make sure you've installed your user script manager. Again, search for another video on how to do that. I will check. Um, where it runs. Okay, that all looks good. And I'm going to hit install. Okay, and that's done. Now it's installed. Um, not on this page, so that's all good. But now we're going to refresh this page. Now we can see these buttons here are new. And so there's this little icon, it's a little handy link. To music brains if, if someone's added the relationship between this Bandcamp page and the artist. We're going to get these handy links. Um, and now we can see that it's running here. I'm going to click up here on extensions on Tampa Monkey and here we go. I can see I can turn it on and off um, but we can see all the scripts that are running on this page. There's a useful search button. Um, again it's good to double check but uh, I have already checked that this doesn't exist. So I can click on import into music brains. Confirm form submission. It's going to give us a rundown of what's being seeded. But I've used this before and I trust it. We're going to double check it anyway. So here we've got Child's Head with Flowers by Chital. And we can see that all this stuff's been preloaded. These external links have been preloaded. The track list has been preloaded. Um, so we're looking good. I just need to, I'm going to use guess case in this title. We're going to use title case and then artist. I'm just going to search for this. And again, you're going to want to double check that this is correct. You don't need to add a new artist. You're picking the new one, the correct one, which I am, French beat maker. And I also know that this is an album. It will sometimes autofill this, but if the length is somewhere between an EP and an album, uh, which I think's happened here, it'll leave it blank. But I know it's an album, um, it's not live, it's not a soundtrack, it won't pre-fill that. It can't, uh, there's no way of knowing that from Bandcamp data. We're just going to double check uh, English in the script as well. So yes it is in English, and yes the script is Latin. And Latin means, uh, it uses our alphabet, A, A B, C, D, and so forth. Now there's a few other little details here. Uh, 
the date has been pre-filled in the country. Bandcamp is worldwide. We, we leave that even if this artist is from France or whatever. Country isn't the artist's country. It's where the release is available. And because this release is on Bandcamp, which is available anywhere with the internet, worldwide is correct. Now, label. Let's just have a look if this mentions a label anywhere. It doesn't. And on Bandcamp at the top left here, we will often see a little box that says see more from label. Uh, and that's a pointer that this has been released on a label Bandcamp. Now this hasn't, and there's no mention of anything. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna type in no label, which is kind of a pretend label <laughs> to show there's no label. There's also no mention of a catalog number. So I'm gonna in brackets again, um, let's do none. Now barcode, there's other scripts that can uh, that expose the barcode for you, so you can check. You know, if you want to get, sometimes uh, we're getting into the details here, but you can click view page search, and then I can do uh, find control F for find. I'm going to type in UPC. You can see UPC null. That's a little insider trick. So this doesn't have a, um, a UPC or a barcode attached. And then I'm just going to um, have a look if there's anything else I need to take into account. No, it doesn't look like it. So I'm going to go to next. And once again, we can see that everything here has been pre-filled, which is excellent. And uh, the title case, the capitals look correct. But I'm just going to click guest case just in case. No, nothing changed. It's looking good. Uh, and we've got the recording tab is next. And... If we, if this is a compilation and the songs or the recordings have been used on other releases, we could link them here. So instead of creating new recordings, but in this case, we don't have to worry about that. And that's slightly more advanced. You don't want to mistakenly uh, merge recordings. That shouldn't be. I'm just going to move on to edit note. And this has been pre-filled as well, uh, where it's been imported from. So the Bandcamp URL and the script that's done it. And that's, I can't really add to that information. That's really all anybody needs to know. And I click on enter edit. Just let it go. Enjoy some elevator music. There we go, it's imported. Now there's more we can add. We can add uh, tags at the bottom here. We can add fingerprints if we've downloaded it. Uh, cover art's a big one. However, the uh, the Bandcamp import script that we've used has done most of the work for us.